Well, we're not going to show you the triple scurchy just yet, because I'm sure quite a few of you are excited to see uh, the crowned cranes again. These are the, the grey crowned cranes, not the, the northern crowned cranes. And there they are. And in with them is a, a spurwing goose. And a little bit to the right is a whole hobble of Egyptian goose. So there we go. Another, a nice sort of three birds in one file swoop at Majandege. And uh, in the distance, oh, can we still see them? There's some uh, woolly neck stalks as well. And there's about 400 buffalo behind them, including one right there. And uh, where are we now, eggs? Yeah, we're with, the buffalo. with the buffalo and the woolly neck stalks. Okay, and as if we come closer towards us, we are much closer to the Defasa waterbuck. And we can see their bums a bit more clearly. And you can see living up to their name, feeding in the water on the nice lush sedges that are growing. And, uh, Eggs, do you think we're ready to show them a triple skirchy yet? Oh, I don't know, Eggs. I think maybe we should hold out a bit longer. Thanks. Yeah, okay, let's show them a triple skirchy. There we go, a triple skirchy is the Camilo Pardis triple, uh, triple skirchy, the Maasai giraffe. There we go, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that I can see, and I'm sure there's a few more still in the tree line. They are exquisite. There are more than that. Ten. Ten that I can see. So, isn't this absolutely splendid? So, from sitting in this one spot, we've got triple skirchies. We've got two herds of buffalo on either side of us. Uh, we've got probably, it must be about 25 waterback crown cranes, and I'm trying to see... Those Tommies should be around here quite close. So let's go see if we can find those Thompson's gazelles. They should be about a minute away. And we can probably see if there's any more birds at the other section of Majandege. Living up to its name, Water of the Birds. This is just... I think Eggsy, Eggsy, Eggsy has nailed it when it comes to describing how... Uh, driving around here in, in Kenya makes you feel it is it is exact it's it's like falling in love and uh, well I think I've already fallen I'm head over heels uh, with the, the Maasai Mara I don't think I could be caught <laughs> but yes eggs you're very poetic today okay so those Thompson's gazelles are normally just around just past here Now, I was chatting with Douglas about the, the Impala here. So, how our Impala in, well, the Impala at Juma are, are very, very set in their rutting season and their breeding season. Now, due to the, the nature of the fact that there's so much food uh, here, and, and it's also one of the reasons why those Impala have those really massive horns, uh, is that they're, they're sort of almost on steroids. And... The impala will, will mate and give birth throughout the year. So you can see baby impalas at any time, really. So it's not a set season. Eggsy, where are the Thompson's gazelles? Uh, hi, Justin. Uh, Justin's wondering if we, whether we've named the vehicle yet. Uh, Justin, we haven't. This isn't uh, our vehicle. We have been kindly lent this vehicle from um, Angama. And so we haven't named it yet, but the, the, the tech vehicle is named Chiku. Uh, and, oh, there's a great white egret. You see it? And we haven't, uh, and the other vehicles have been named, but I'm not sure of all their names just yet. Now, I'm just going to sit up quickly. I don't know. I mean, of course, because I said the Thompson's gazelles were going to be here. Today is the day that they are not. Let's have a quick look with the binos. They are quite short. Sometimes they disappear into the grass. Yeah, where have the Tommies gone? Now, I came here particularly to look for Thompson's gazelle and ostrich, both of which are are, are proving to be a little bit scarce. Now, really important to use your binos out here. Now, a lot of the stuff we spot 
is through binaries. I can. Oh, is that where the Tommies are? There's Impala. Okay, well, we're going to go a little bit further on down the road. Uh, there's that big herd of buffalo coming up on the right. Now, this, this particular herd has been here well, every single day that I've driven down this part of the, the, the triangle. The, the big herd of buff have, have been in this area, not moving far. So, and you probably find that big herd we saw uh, on the northern side yesterday will we'll also stay in that area. There's no need to move the big distances like the Sabi Sands herds. Here we go. So they, they start from over here and they just keep going. So I'm going to just drive opposite them. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? That must be about 400 or so. And they've been almost completely stationary in this area for a couple of days. Lots of grass. So I'm just going to switch off and give you a lovely vista filled with a buffaloes and we're going to leave you and send you across to Commander Bond who's with an animal that's bigger than a buffalo but smaller than an elephant.